Part 4, Additional Revenue, 2025 to 2028. Before I begin this section, please note that the values of one or another new revenue stream are not being presented. They are only an example, as indeed is the manufacturing construction-based economy, which could change to a mostly service and construction-based economy if, after review, that was the best model. The general point is that due to the law of conservation of revenue, the network only needs to make 10% of 2024 initial revenue to break even and can forge ahead given additional revenue from a number of sectors. With this said, let us begin. Please move to column AJ to see the additional income that can be made in 2025, which is created in addition to the law of conservation of revenue cash flow that was rolled over from 2024, which we see here. There are six different sectors. One, two, three, four, five. And these bottom three are all part of the same. They're just different examples. A, first tier pricing in Network and Malawi. In 2024, all SWOD operations will have been pre-planned in great detail. This detail includes the price of every good service or construction set at the optimum level for the greatest success of all tender companies. This will vary in practice, but not by much. Tender companies are companies that have guaranteed orders from other companies, which will be most or even all in 2024. In a way, the 2024 operation is not too dissimilar to the Chinese two price system, in which the first price feeds the village and once fed, entrepreneurs are free to produce more and sell it on the open market. However, the S World one price system is far more sophisticated compared to the Chinese one price system as it is technology driven, taking advantage of all other software and systems and in particular the S World UCS simulator. This additional income stream is for goods made above the tender quota that are sold to other companies, either in the Malawi network or to other companies in Malawi outside the network at a price very near the original tender price. In essence, this income stream is in part non-profit and a form of aid. Note that the first price tender, the one price tender system in 2024 is set to break even and only make profit in 2025, where after profit will be invested per the POP initiative showcased in chapter two. Second tier pricing in Network and Malawi. Second tier pricing is the same as above, but goods, services, real estate and other are sold at whatever price the market can afford. C, trade with the USA. In 2024, the trade with the USA shown on this spreadsheet is exactly even. A perfect trade balance. See columns AA and AB. AA, AB. For example, we start at AE4. We see it makes high-end fashion. This is sent to the USA in AB4 and via trade hubs traded for raw materials and manufacturing parts in AA4, which in turn are imported to Malawi and sold to the sector Goods One Technology. And then we see it go on from there. The vehicle for this tariff-free trade is the AGOA, the African Growth and Opportunities Act, which applies if all components of the export are domestically produced or produced by other AGOA rules of origin countries. However, the AGOA does not stipulate a perfect trade balance, so more can be produced and exported, albeit some quotas would apply. Any additional trade creates additional input revenue. Dif sorry, any additional trade creates additional initial revenue, which we see estimated at 171 million here. D, trade with AGOA here. Trade with AGOA countries is similar to trade with the USA, but is primary, primarily for raw materials, building materials, food and drink, traded for more complex manufactured goods or services. 
E. Aid and Technical Assistance. Having studied the following books, The Bottom Billion and The Plundered Planet by Paul Collier, The End of Poverty by Jeffrey Sachs, Why Nations Fail by Darren Asimoglu and James Robinson, and Poor Economics by Abjif V. Banjiri and Esther Duflo, I am confident that by the time the software has been fully described, including the TBS, which tracks all client interactions, the TFS, which tracks all financial transactions, the BES Observer publicly displays statistics on aid recipient individuals and companies, SWELL UCS creates projects as simulations before commencement, down to the cost of a single brick, S World AE, aid efficiency, aid mostly transfers to companies that are fully tracked by the software, and the latest edition, the S World VSN Angel Wing Economic Framework. Then all would agree that given the OECD tells us that over 142 billion in aid was distributed in 2016, that in addition to whatever aid Malawi is already receiving, due to the 26 different special projects seen in the breakthrough chapter Ripple Effects and Elephants and other chapters in this book, the Malawi Super Grand Network project is worthy of 1.3 billion in aid. And possibly much more, as the rollover effects of aid to the Malawi network would in time see more aid delivered than given. Imagine in but a few years the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, the Chan Zuckerberg Foundation, Virgin Unite, Google.org, the Red Cross or the World Bank could say we delivered 100 million in aid and now three years later we have recorded 200 million in direct benefits and after show a very, very long list of exactly what those benefits were and who they went to. Now that's a more creative capitalism the title of the book and note that this name is from Bill Gates' 2007 Harvard commencement speech about his desire to see a better economic system that could foster equality and provide help where needed. I dare say even William Easterly, the author of White Man's Burden, would agree that if aid is unavoidable and had to be delivered somewhere then the Malawi network as presented would be his choice particularly as after a few years it is scaled back the fisher the, th the men have been taught to fish okay f network charter cities let's go there here we go one two three but only one starting in 2025 the name charter cities comes from paul romer who until recently was chief economist and senior vice president at the world bank Alongside the software, the idea of building charter cities has been central to the theme of S-World since 2011 and the plan New Sparta City of Science in Laconia, Greece. The current vision for such a city, or in fact cities, is to emulate Foxconn City, which is the city in China that Apple chose to make the iPhone, incorporate the Googleplex, a holiday resort, and university town. Network charter cities are this idea but created for a single client. In this case, in 2025, I suggest the Norwegian Sovereign Wealth Fund, who has over one trillion in their endowment, and according to Thomas Piketty, the awful are uh, the author of Capital in the 21st Century, are keen to invest in emerging nations and real estate. So why not a charter city in the Lake Malawi network? If, in general, this would be a minimum of 10 phases, say, at one per year, at 1.3 billion per year. But the first year is half due to productive capacity. You can see that here. Okay, so collectively in 2025, in AK23, we find an additional 2.5 billion in new money in cash entering the system. And because this money will also follow E equals 90%, this money counts as initial revenue. The 2.5 billion is added to the 4.9 billion law of conservation of revenue rollover from 2024 here, making 7.4 billion. 
However, the network does not need this much to report a success in 2025. So long as 549 million plus US inflation is generated, the network economy will break even. And a break even is a success as the infrastructure, solar arrays, education, technology and other bets, benefits are key areas for future growth. And as I've said, the, the least this project would get 549 from aid. Thus, if the law of conservation of revenue can work as presented, we and we receive more than 20% of 2025 potential additional income, the venture would be a success. So long as we can master the logistics, which in any case would have been planned out in intricate detail within the SWOD, VSN and UCS simulations. Even if only an E of 80% can be achieved in 2024, it's still a winning formula. In 2026, next in 2026, all addition revenue is increased. Da, 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 da. And I've added a second network charter city this time. For the sake of picking a winner, I've gone for the Harvard Management Company. The general idea here being that Harvard would also assist in advances in virtual technology and create their own university town slash city, an entire city dedicated to education and research. And we can see at AO25, the law of conservation of revenue rollover from 2025 and new additional income from 2026 equals 10.9 billion. In 2027, Next, in 2027, a third network charter city begins, this time for the USA, either a collection of businesses, government, citizens, or a combination. Trade increases again, but aid starts to get phased out. And at AR25, we have a total of 15 billion. Lastly, in 2028, I've simulated a recession. So one price subsidized nonprofit goods and services increase, or in fact, stay the same. Just change that. No, I can't change that. It will change all the f results everywhere. Just imagine it's increased. Okay, so one price goods and service increase, but all other imports are at zero, 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 as is aid completely phased out. Um, and the charter cities have all gone back to the lowest amount contractually allowed for a total of 16.2 billion, still increasing even in a recession year. So lastly, we're just going to introduce the next section, res spin more than zero. What if instead of the law of conservation of revenue rolling over at the end of a year, it did so after six months? or three months, or less. I can't guarantee that it can, but I can see no reason why it can't either. And if it can, then it opens the earlier spreadsheet, Res 2024 to 2039, cautious estimate 1.32D, which we can see here, actually starts here and ends there which by 2039 sees Malawi making about 0.4% of global GDP, or in the standard, standard estimate that we see here, makes 1.85% of global GDP. So if we can use spin in this way, it has the makings of an economic miracle, from which the next book, book three, the GDP game, we could leverage expectations and see the same from many other countries in extreme poverty changing the landscape and indeed the environment for the bottom billion. As with every charter city comes significant ecological improvement and lower carbon emissions, making this one of the only non-fiat plans on the table that could stop the poorest countries from becoming the next generation of carbon emitters in the mid 21st century. Thank you.